You talk about paradise. <laughs> Am I right? Look at this place. It's something else. So, sorry the sound shitty. My Rode microphone just finally decided to shit out, as it was for the past few weeks. But uh, it finally just. Uh, <laughs> came to a dead halt and will no longer record any any kind of sounds so i will disappointed with that but uh oh well in the meantime check out this most incredible freaking island you'll ever see in your entire life look at this classic that's where i want to be stranded got the the two palm trees little island I am going to build my house on this here island and call it Cameron's Island. Because why the fuck not, you know? What a place. Wow. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that over there. Whoa. That's definitely something to look at. Wow. Neat, huh? Christmas! <laughs> Woohoo! I've been saved! <laughs>
Absolutely beautiful. I said I burned some leaves that was against one of my Ten Commandments, never to burn. They should always be used for compost. But we don't have the land yet and we can't start gardening and we're undergunned about controlling our rubbish right now except by burning it. This was the original plantation manager's house. It was uh, it was it was built before 1900, so you know it's, it's like 140 years old. It survived until last year when council members said, "Oh, well, there was a few rotten boards in it, so they decided to destroy it." And I mean, and they fucked it. They just destroyed it. And since then, they've destroyed the the uh, office house for NCL, the uh, the back house, the back generator room, one of the NCL maniabas. And, and everything else is just barely standing up right now. But when I use the word they, it's, uh, it's bored kids that don't realize they live in paradise and they're, we can't hold it against them. It's, it's, you know, they're, they're stuck here in their own little place. We need to create an atmosphere that, that where they can step into to pull themselves up from society, where, where they can earn enough money to go overseas and see the outside world. And then they realize what a beautiful place they have. My microphone is uh, it's dying. I will. I'm, I'm worried about flies sticking their head in that hole. Uh, I don't even think a fly would stick its head in that hole, Chuck. It's bad. This was where the all the finances were taken care of for the plantation. That was the old safe that was inside the house. So the house is built around the safe. Okay, over there just got a big fish. Okay, so check out this place here and uh, just the potential for an incredible garden if we just touch this place up a little bit. I mean, look at all these old beautiful trees. I mean, they're huge. Look at this thing. And those. I mean, gosh, and it's right on a turquoise blue lagoon with like the best surfing in the world right there. On a tree house up there. That would be incredible. Oh, that's a good spot. You're right. It's a date tree, and I've eaten the dates from this tree. Really? Yep. Okay, you told me that. How do we get the dates down? Well, there's no dates up there right now. Really? Can you see them when they're there? Wait, no, there'll be a big bunch of dates. You'll see them. So Chuck, follow me this way. What's that thing? Where? Right there. This is the Greg Memorial. And this was a memorial with a large brass plaque on it. I have a picture of it that disappeared while I've been gone. But the brass plaque was, um, it, it, it lists from, the, from, when, from when Captain Fanning discovered the island to the Bricknells, who were partners. They, they, they disappeared to, to the Greg family. Greg family owned this island for three or four generations. And then eventually they sold out to Burns Phillip. And it wasn't the large petroleum company, it was Burns Phillip out of Australia. And, and it was a plantation company of some sort in Australia. And it became then the Fanning and Washington Island Plantation. Okay. All right, dude. So this spot right here, we could clean this little sand spot up and put a kia kia right here with this look, with this view of the harbor. 
That's correct. And we could do that right now. If we get it, you can have whatever fish you want. Really? Fuck yeah. But we got to get you foreign investment so that you have a you have a residency. Let's do it. Yep. Residency. Can I do that here uh, soon? We can start it. We should start it this week working on it. Okay. Let's it's do not, that. It's not hard to do. Perfect. My energy level. Ah, I don't want to die. Chuck's got a bad infection on his back. And we, we think it's killing him. Look at this. And I... Oh man, Chuck, that looks beautiful. Wow. He's got another one up there. And I'll have another big one just started on my knee. Oh, he's got more down here on his leg. But these I'm not worried about. It's this one here under the kneecap. That's the one that's, that could go bad. Yeah. They could go south. The kneecap or into the into the spinal cord with the other one. And the nurse said, oh, we're out of antibiotics. You no, know, it's too much, too, it's too difficult to have some sent up from Christmas, even though there's a flight tomorrow. Yeah. And he said, well, take some cloxacillin. But I remember cloxacillin from, like, like in the late 90s. Uh, uh, cloxacillin doesn't work anymore. It's no longer effective for staphylococca infections. And um, I had shifted to dicloxacillin, and that was only working part of the time, and then I shifted to... Um, Cipro, and Cipro is working, and that's what I want to go back there and look at. And um, I, I need to go talk straight with him right now. Do it. Let's go do it. Yeah, dude, that thing is infected. Yeah, all this flesh around it is all. Um, it's called cellulitis. It's an inflammation of the flesh. His uh, apparently his neck's been hurting up here, and his spine, and. You'll have just spasms of pain. What does that feel like? It's keeping me from functioning much today and all of yesterday and the day before. So now I'm on my third day of being underwater, which isn't pleasant. It's not taking away from my quality of life, but I got things to do. Time's short. Yeah, my energy level is fucked. Yeah. Really, 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 really fucked. My energy level has been pretty bad the past few days because I just have some small infections on my feet. But nothing like this guy over here. Home sweet home. Yep. Home sweet home. Have to go and buy some moon tigers. Open the door and have a moon tiger in here killing the mosquitoes. We're down to our last two sinks of water. It's super hot and humid and smed, sweaty and muggy in this room. I have flies eating the, away the infections on my feet where new ones will grow. We're shitting in the bushes. We're going out and catching our own food and eating bananas. But I love bananas, so that's okay. And, I uh, shit in the water, not in the bushes. Yeah, he shits in the water. I, I, I dig a hole usually and I'll shit in there. But, uh... Yeah, no, it's uh, some rough conditions, but it's a lot of fun. It's a hoot and a half. It, it is, and, and, I, and I apologize for being negative. Oh, no, 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 not at all. No, f hell, this is, a, you have every reason to be. Uh, yeah, you, you've been fucked, man. I mean, look at that thing on your back. You're, uh, you're in a shit show and a half of a situation. And, yep. Yep.